All right. Hello there, sixth graders. So, right now what we're going to start on is our Zentangle 5x5. Five five. Um, you're going to start off with a 5 inch by 5 inch square piece of paper. And this is kind of a practice in t that will lead into your final draft for um, your portraits that you'll be doing. Okay. So, remember that this is a practice. If you mess up, that's okay. Um, just practice. Now, if you notice in A hallway, um, up on a set of the lockers, there's a big collection of these. And that's usually what I end up doing with them is putting them up there and putting them on display for the whole school. It makes a really good mural. Um, so we're gonna start off with this. Now, first off, you have to divide this square into five different sections. So we draw one line, there's two sections. If we draw two lines, there's three sections. And then let's do kind of ones going like here. One, two, three, four. And let's do just one, doing that five. You can do more if you want, there's no rules. Um, but you need at least five of those, five spaces for five different Zentangle designs, okay? Now with Zentangles, um, the idea behind them is to create a balance of black and white. We've talked about that a little bit in class. But think back to that yin yang that you saw me draw on the board, okay? Um, also, here's a couple of uh, previous examples. Here's one I did. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. There's a pretty cool one. This one, notice how much white's left on there? That looks kind of unfinished. You don't want that. Um, oh, this person did uh, that one point perspective type thing. That's a cool idea. Here's one that never got done. It's a sweet elephant. Um, and these students drew out their designs first. You can do that. No harm done. There's a cool one. There's a cool one. Notice the balance of black versus white. You want a balance of both dark and light. Remember back to the yin yang. Here's a cool one, kind of going with the wolf thing there. It's a silhouette. There's another good one. So you're just breaking this up into four or five big areas to create different designs in. So, um, you should also have access to a handout that shows you a couple different patterns and designs. You don't have to copy one off that. You can make up your own. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch this large Sharpie. Does this guy work? All right, we're in business. So, I'm gonna start off by tracing this large line right here. And that Sharpie's about to croak. Start with the backup. How are you doing? Yeah. Now, if you mess up with the Sharpie, don't just start over, okay? Um, what's really important with this art style is that if you make a mistake, you work with it. You just kind of roll with it. Since there's really no wrong way to zentangle, there's no mistakes. So you can either fix it or go over it or incorporate it. Okay, so there's my five spaces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with pencil just so I kind of have an idea. Um, let's see. 